This is the final result of the demo we are going to show you today. We have data being collected from the MQTT broker. We have circular gauges, data grid, trend window, and the more special part, which is the MCP tool. In this case, we sent a HTML code from the AI to Frameworks application, and we can visualize it here. So let's develop the application. For creating this solution, we go in new, you select your license here, next. Uh, we selected the Windows platform, a portable layout, you give a name to your solution and you can create a new solution. So our purpose here is to run our broker, MQTT broker, also the simulator of publishing data, and then map this data to the solution, create an MCP script, and a basic display to show the information. So let's start by running the MQTT broker. You come to Data Explorer, MQTT tools, and run the broker here. You also run the publisher simulator, which populates our broker with data, as we can see here in the tree. Okay, now we need to bring this information to our solution. So we'll import it all, clicking in cities and map to the solution, tag provider service, and then, okay. The tag provider service is a powerful, powerful feature that allows us to not need to actually create tags in the solution. We can get the values directly from the connection. So we can come here in unify namespace and tag provider services, and we can see that it was imported here as expected. So the next thing we do is to go to asset tree and create a new folder. We can call this folder here, Europe. And we are doing this because we want to be able to get the data from solution. And for that, we need to create in the asset tree a path for that. So let's click in this button here to insert data from tag provider to this folder here. So we select cities, okay. And we can see that cities is here. Let's rename to Spain. And we can also browse all the values that are inside. So, okay, now that we have we are running the MQT broker. We have imported this data to our solution. We are able to create the MCP script. So let's go in scripts, classes, and create a new class here, importing from the code library, the solar panels MCP. And then here we have our script. So, the method from the MCP works in this way. First, we have the description, which will be what the user will ask the AI to do. Then we have the method with a parameter. In this case, is location. So, for example, the user wants to be the power uh, wants to know the power output of the solar panels in Spain. So this is how he will ask you the AI. He will say returns the power output of the solar panels in Spain. And when this question is asked, it will pass through this code and it will return an information to the AI. And okay, uh, the same happens with the second method that we here, have here as default. The user can say, send a message to the solar panels op operator. And in this case, instead of retrieving the information as the first method, it will send information from the AI to the framework's application. And in this code here below, we are getting this data and giving this to the tag message. So we can use that message here in the application. So we still not have this tag here because we haven't created. So we go in unify namespace, tags, and create a new tag here. Let's call it message because it's the script and type text. So once we have it created, we go back in the script and we can 
uncomment this line here. Okay, now let's save this script. And now we are able to go into the drawing environment to create uh, a basic display to sh show this information. And come here, create a new page. Let's first search for the message pop-up. Let's give the name message pop-up and OK. And this message pop-up will display the web browser, which will receive a HTML format. And now let's import the main display, solar panels page. Okay, now we can see that we have our page here. We have the web browser who will sh display the HTML format and also all other objects. So let's just save the document here. And now this is the first page we want to display when running the solution. So we go into the displays, layouts, and change it to be the solar panels page as we just created. Okay, now we're good to run the solution. So we go here in actions as a shortcut and start runtime. Okay, now we have our tree here. You can browse the values and you see it updating in real time. You also have the trend visualization. And we have the board message here, which will display the HTML format when we ask the AI to do that. So the next step is to query some questions to the AI tool and see this retrieving information and also populating this board message here with a beautiful page. So, okay, let's go to the next step. In this last step here, we are going to install the Cloud AI. So it has to be the desktop version. And once you have installed, you go here in the file and settings and scroll down to the developer. Edit config and it will open this notepad here. So, okay, this notepad here, the, the content of this notepad allows us to connect through the AI, from the AI to our application. So this does the map of that connection. In the first parameter here, we have the solution name. In our case, it's solar panel MCP. So let's put it there, solar panel MCP. In the command, we will put the path of this executable here, the TMCP server studio. And here you put the IP and also the port. All other parameters are will be as default. Okay, so you save it and we can go back to the cloud AI. Once we have done this setting, you need to shut down Cloud AI and then open it again. So let's close it through here. You have to quit the app and then you open it again in the cloud. Okay, now we need to check if that worked. So we can come here in settings again. Developer, you can see that here it's running. It seems to be fine. And then to make sure that it's working, you create a new conversation and you can come here in the connectors, scroll down and you'll see your solar panel MCP project here. Um, okay, now we can make questions to the AI about our solution. And I prepared three questions here. So let's start by what's the system monitor uptime? So we select the Opus 4.1 and Let's send a message. 
Okay, so there are some methods that are already embedded in our application. For example, the get value, which you pass as a parameter the name of the property you want to uh, retrieve, and then it will have response. You can also check here in the connector, you can open and you see some methods that are already embedded. For example, the get value, the get alarm online, the get store. Plus the two methods we created in the script. And you also can create the other ones as you desire it. Okay. So let's see the result of this query. It's running for 12 minutes and 51 seconds. So it seems correct. So let's go to the next question. Return the solar panels power output in Spain. Okay, so now it's getting from our method that was customized. And it was passed as a parameter Spain and it has a response here. So basically we have from Barcelona, Bilbao, Madrid, Seville, and also it, it gives you a summary of it all. Okay, now we have retrieved the monitoring uptime, the solar panels output, and now we're going to send a message to populate this board message here. So we can see that it's empty now. Uh, let's query the last one to the AI. So here we are asking the, to congrats the operators in Barcelona about their good job. And it has been in HTML or SVG uh, format with a beautiful page. So we can see in the solution that, okay, let's query this. Okay, we can see that the method was called and this is, it was the customized method and it's generating the, the format here to show in our application. It can be either HTML or SVG our web browser accepts both. So it's creating, it's, it's creating, it can be, it can take a while because it's a whole page. So it's doing a nice display and we are going to see that in our application there. So you see that it's uh, even translating to Spanish because it's, we asked it to be in Barcelona, so it's supposed that the workers are in Barcelona. So yeah, it says that send a message and give a conclusion here. So let's check application now. We can open it here, and here it is our beautiful page. So it says congratulations and uh, some summary of the the producing there in the solar panels, and also a, a nice message here. So those were some examples of what we can do with the MCP technology. Uh, we tried three queries, the first and the second. We retrieve information so we can read this in the AI, but you also can send a message to our application through the MCP. And this is what we did here with the board message. Uh, you can create your customized methods, which can do uh, much more things. Okay, so thanks. Uh, this is our demo. We did everything uh, around the MCP, which is the nice feature. And thank you.